Hey, welcome back. And I'm going to quickly show you how I created this building here. This is a pretty cool uh, building, kind of like an apartment complex of some sort. Um, I got it off. I got the idea just from Google searching like a building and it looks pretty cool. This is actually, I mean, it, I'm surprised how close it looks to the picture that I that I found online. Um, but I'll show you how I made this. It didn't take a huge amount of time, but I'm not going to replicate this building. It, it did take, it takes a while to, uh, to basically, you know, if you want something to look good, it takes a little bit of time to put all the, all the work and the texturing and all that jazz. Um, but, uh, I do want to show you how you can create something like this. The coolest part about this whole thing is that you can do this to it. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. This is the new add-on that I'm working on. And so let's get to it. This is literally the code. It's still here. I'm going to actually update that. It's, um, it's really cool and I'm very excited. Um, to show it to you so let's take a look so um it's right here it's it's a different version it's going to be a better version than the um the building blocks that i have right now this one's done truly much closer to what the geometry nodes does instead of using the collection instances it's using object instances and vertices and so i i just like it i, th I feel like it runs much smoother um and so let's get into it so uh, i have little presets that you can do here you can just build a wall and you get a little wall there and I, you just click on here select that as your wall you'll see when the wall is built um, you get a vertice or uh, sorry a origin point right here um, if you go to the opposite end of your origin point this wall facing you on the y axis that's your main front wall so that's the one you want to do stuff to and then once you create that, we can create a corner. We got a cool corner. I'm going to deselect that real quick. Our corners take into account these two faces here. So I'm just going to come here and I'm going to, I'm actually going to do something here. Let's, okay. I like that. I'll shave smooth it and turn on the auto smooth. So we have those two made fantastic. And then I'll hide that. Um, oh, and don't forget to select it. It's very important or else it won't work. Um, now to create the roof, we will create this guy and let's turn off the corner for now. Um, and let's actually, let's just lower the Z down to like 0.5. So we'll come to this one as well and, and lower it to 0.5. Um, and the reason we do that is so that we can add a ledge to it. So the roof one, uh, if you remember, this is the one that we're looking at. So you need to add a, whoops, let's uh, do three cuts, and then we'll raise this up 0.5, basically taking us back to one on the height here. Um, and then on the corner, um, we want to do basically the same thing and we'll oh crap select two three one two three and so you want to kind of try to get your roof corner and your 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 wall corners to match so that they look like good together um and uh, hopefully that will work. Either way, you'll get the idea. Um, so now we have all these guys created. We come back up here. We need to make sure we select them. So for the roof, I'm going to select the roof. And for the roof corner, I'm going to select roof corner. Um, the roof inner is the one that you can adjust the height on. So whatever height you set, we went down 0.5. So I'm just going to make the height 0.5 and then create it. It, it that's the one you le need to do least work on you just select it and that's it it's going to be the inside of the roof which is usually just flat and this allows us to create that that ledge um the last thing we're going to create is just uh we can have an upper wall so that's kind of like the the higher level of the building um and uh select that guy 
and again opposite end of this origin point is the one we want to use I'm gonna do I don't know what um, okay and we have our funny little building here so once we got all that set up how we like it and everything selected correctly we just hit create building and voila so we have our own nice little building the cool thing is that this thing is like super responsive um and uh and it's pretty dope i, I really like it um and so my next step will be to add um to add uh random elements to it so stick around for an update i'm gonna have random elements elements for it it's this is not available yet um i'm gonna make this available probably for sale but it will be pretty cheap um uh, on gumroad and uh, yeah i'm excited uh you can adjust here the the floor of the the upper floor levels that we made um the overall height uh, you can go all the way down to two, which is a really weird building. And you can literally just have a pillar, a column. This is also, <laughs> this is also a column generator add-on. So just joking, but I don't know. Um, if you're, whatever your building specifications require, um, we got you. So, uh, yeah, that's it for now. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to be adding a lot of different things to, to, variety for this that will make it pretty cool and uh anyways like and subscribe and share the crap out of this if you want to if you like it if you hate this please give it a like um if you like this give it a another like and uh i'll see you next time bye